For much of history, the, the entheogenic or the spiritual experience has been, or at least the one that's mediated through the, the plant sacraments, in Western culture has been extinguished. You know, it's like we've, we've gone, they've conquered the old world, we've extinguished their religions that uh, worshipped, uh, you know, the cactus and the mushroom and things like that, and we've repressed it, and we've repressed spirit. And so it's it's been carried into the 20, 20th and 21st century now where so much of Hollywood and so much of science fiction and fantasy and this deep urge for these transcendental experiences exists in our culture, and we have them represented in commodified ways, you know, like Star Wars is basically, you know, the, the modern religion in some ways, you know, um, for a certain demographic, um, because it has all the archetypes that we've been denied to, to fulfill. And uh, it, without that uh, idea of initiation, we, we, can't, um, we can't become the adults of the tribe, and we're still kept sort of infinitile, we're still, still questing for those archetypes. And so to have authentic experiences, even that aren't sort of Hollywood mediated, but are actually true, like this and like, you know, DMT spirit molecule, and like the do dozens and potentially hundreds, hopefully, of other content creators out there who have this hunger to, you know, release their archetypes and to tell these mythic stories, which is what all the tribal cultures did. They, they told these, these mythic stories which made sense of their world. They anthropomorphized them, perhaps, or they, you know, you know, made sense of their cosmos and their relationships with nature in stories, in myth. And so it's so important for us to make uh, psychedelic and entheogenic and altered state, states movies to have these artifacts in the mainstream that then just radiate. They radiate their difference and their intensity and their vibration. And people who see them get, you know, they get a different view on the world that they're, they're censored. That historical censorship is still, there's this cultural dissonance quite often in the mainstream. And you look at, you know, movies like Avatar and, uh, there's been so many lately, The Fountain, um, but Hollywood is actually starting to really chase this bleeding edge, which is now, you know, psychedelic, entheogenic, and spiritual, because they've done everything else. They've exhausted the repertoire of what's gone before, and the truth which they've been avoiding for so long is, it's the event horizon, we're entering it, and it's, um, it's getting documented, but it's so important to have these artifacts which can then resonate and change culture, because the visionary art culture, you know, the music culture, electronic music culture, and the, you know, movies like this, I think, are all collectively making a tapestry of tomorrow, of, of the new paradigm. And so, so I, I feel it's really important that, that they get out there.